as a professional to assist. This the room at St. Joseph's Hospital in Hamilton is where Dr. Jean Chamberlain Froze delivered her own firstborn. It's clean, private, and stocked with the latest technology. And compared to the rooms where women in developing nations deliver their babies, it's a sanctuary. I think of an example of a local hospital uh, in Uganda where I went in with my colleagues and I went over to the tap and I turned on the tap and there was no running water. Chamberlain Froze is the founder of Save the Mothers, a not-for-profit organization dedicated to reducing the number of women who die from pregnancy complications in the developing world. The Ugandan-based agency works with local leaders to help them better understand the needs of pregnant women. You know, if a mother here in the Hamilton area starts to bleed, she immediately knows she should go to the hospital. But in many places, that knowledge, that education isn't there. It's kind of like, well, I think this is natural. I think this is okay. I'll just wait. If that woman does make the decision to go to hospital, there are still many social barriers preventing her from getting there safely. She often has to wait for her husband to come and give her permission to go as well as the finances to go. Canada loses about 10 to 15 mothers every year from pregnancy complications. In Uganda, a country with a similar population, that number skyrockets to 6,000 deaths. Chamberlain Froze says women in Uganda will probably never have the same technology in the delivery room as Canadians, but making social changes can still help avoid preventable deaths. If women aren't treated with respect, then they won't come back next time. They'll go and, and deliver with a woman who is not trained, and then they end up getting a complication. Chamberlain Froze spends eight months of the year in Uganda with her husband and three kids, fighting for the right of every mother to have a safe delivery. Melissa Raftis, CHCH News.